That's 10 G if you're not counting. 10,000 bucks. Elephant money futures, baby. Crypto slow. Cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Happy Sunday. And that's a Super Bowl day. So I got a ton of updates to cover today. So let's get started with Elephant. So Elephant breaking that previous resistance, looking beautiful. So if we scroll out to the daily, yeah, <laughs> it's looking really, really good. You can see this nice line. We could have a pullback on our way up to this kind of area in here, but this thing is steady climbing. I, you know, when this thing goes parabolic, it's going to be scary because the floor is going to be much higher than the previous time that it went parabolic. It it went parabolic down here, and that's a 10x almost to here. So I'm expecting some killer gains. So as we stated, if you're following along, not financial advice, pack your bags with Elephant because we are going places. Elephant money futures, baby. Today is a big day. Gonna go to deposit and do my compound for the day. They say, show me the money. Well, I'm showing you the money. Woo! That's 10 G if you're not counting. 10,000 bucks. Looking really pretty. 1.545 million TVL. Total deposit, 149. Elephant money futures, baby. I have not withdrawn a dime. My goal is to create the sweetest, sweetest passive income. And I'm not claiming until I absolutely nest like absolutely necessary. I have to like go to the emergency room or something because I want this to grow. If you're not in elephant money futures, half a percent a day, two hundred dollar minimum deposit. Get paid, baby. This thing's been running for about, let's see. Let's look at the dashboard. 22 days. 22 days. 10 grand in 22 days. So what can I say? You know, I think we're going to hit 2 million here very shortly. This, like I said, this is one of my best audited dApps for passive income. And, you know, I told you there's a lot of uncertainty into the market. And like I said, I'm building this for when I need it and for when there's opportunity in the future. So check out Elephant Money Futures. Going over to my Stampy box, 868,000 trunk. I still have about a million in divs I'm owed. So again, trunk, not worried about it. Waiting for Bertha to get nice and fat. If you don't know what Bertha is, it's the Elephant Treasury. And I did a video on trunk that, you know, once... We hit that parabolic phase with the elephant. The governance strategies on the perpetual bonds will be turned up. And on that note, you know, again, I see a lot of people joining the redemption queue, but not being in elephant money futures. So elephant money futures is giving you that steady BUSD income. And there's not much I could say about it. I mean, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. Um, looking at liquidity holding at about 5.48, so it's been between five and six million. Strategically, I'm mixing it up uh, with some rolls and some claims and you know, doing a little of both, whatever. Like I said, I'm not worried about Trunk right now. Uh, it's a future play because when this gets back online and people are minting again, you know, I'll be back to about four or five K a day and I'll be back to my original strategy of claim to roll five. So that is Trunk. All right, moving on to some AI stuff. BDP, baby! If you got in on the dip, congratulations. We did have this pullback. We had this explosive run to 70 cents. I picked up about 2K worth. But if you draw your lines, you know, I expect maybe a pullback to the 40 cent area. As you know, we have to flush out all these people, these weak hands that bought way down here. And, you know, AI is is here and they're pumping. The only thing that could really screw this up 
in my opinion, is if Bitcoin takes a turbo dump, then we could see people taking more profits on the, the AI coins that they got in early. So just keep that in mind. There is risk there that you'll be holding an AI bag because these people are up. I mean, you can see they got this at three cents and it was dead forever. So if you got in down here, you are like, I don't know, 12, 13X. So I don't blame those people for taking some profits for sure. But that's BD, BDP, big data protocol. So far I'm into, I'm in Tau and I'm in BDP. I haven't decided. I was kind of looking for some dips on some of them. I like Ocean Protocol, but the market cap on it's a bit high, but we'll see. Uh, I don't have any FET right now. Let's see what FET's doing. FET was just pumped. So I was just, I didn't want to freaking overpay for FET. That probably took a little dip. Yeah, dip. Now, if I see some nice consolidation on this and not a turbo dump, I'd pro probably be another buyer. But if you buy FET, keep in, keep in mind it is multi-chain and it takes a lot more economic activity. And once again, you had all these people in cheap, five cents. They're like eight to 10 X. So keep that in mind. So like I said, I want to see this crab and show some support and you know, make sure we don't drop down to this 30 cent region right before that parabolic pump. And then I'd maybe pick up another bag. Tau, I talked about this W Tau. This thing just stupidly went up to $160. But we had a sell off. Once again, you draw the line. And, you know, the people that got in early, you know, they're dumping their bags, taking profits. And you have to expect that because here's the thing we're late. We're late to AI because these people got in really cheap, but we are showing some significant strength. I told you that if I buy W Tau, I'm not keeping it on the east side very long. I'm using the bridge, which I made a video about, and just getting it back over into my native wallet just because of the third party counter risk here with this. It is a member of the community, but I told you. It's a non on edited. Who knows if he wants to decide to generate 10,000 coins. So far, not. But Tau showing some strength. I still have my bags. And I'm still accumulating. I bought down here about 70 before, you know, before it kind of started pumping really hard on this next phase. But again, you know, if you're getting into these AI coins right now, it is on the riskier side. It, it's the narrative, but it's the riskier side because if Bitcoin dumps, again, these people will take profits and then, you, you know, you'll see some drawdowns. Moving over to Zen. Zen, we've just been getting pounded by this gas. But if you see, now this is a little trick on ultrasound money. If you left click and drag, you can zoom in on the chart, which is kind of dope. You can keep zooming and let's see what we're hitting. So we actually had some dips on gas. So, you know, I might consider putting a mint out around 14. I had a 14 out there and it just didn't because we were averaging that 16, but looks like we've had some dips on gas and we might be able to sneak in another mint on the east side. But you're definitely probably going to have to come strong with like a 14. 16, I was a little like, eh, I didn't know if I wanted a mint. So it was a bit expensive because, again, I'll talk about that in the NFTs. I was work, waiting for that possible uh, capitulation. Talking about NFTs, Zen NFTs. So as you know, and I've made publicly aware, I'm sweeping these puppies. <laughs> these guys... The brain cells of people like not to hate, you know, be be greedy when people are fearful. And these people minted at 0 0.47 and they're selling for 0.19. So I've been sweeping these every couple days. My initial goal is now I know a lot of people are like, well, this is the BSC side's not as expensive. But again, I'm buying on a mega discount here. So I just like to me, it's a no brainer because remember. This first wave, if people capitulate on these, they have to wait another 400 days to get their money, and then they have to remit. So 
I've got about 70 of these, 700 billion coins. And my goal initially is about a trilly bag. And based on 0.19, let's see, 0.19 times 300. So $57, you get about 13 billion per cent. So that's a, a 475 at max days. So if I take 1,000 divided by, let's just say 13, 76. So I really don't need that many more and I'll have a trilly bag, which puts me in the top 10 holders. Now, I don't know other people that have Zents. I, I can't see the breakout on that because, but actually, let's see. Oh, there's no analytics on the BSC side. That's unfortunate, but you know, what are you gonna do? So at 76, let's do the math. 76 times 0.19, 14 times 300. So about $4,300 gets you a trillion coins on the BSC side. It's not much. And if you get any, any price movement at all, you will be a super whale. Not financial advice, but you have to be willing to wait. It could be one year, it could be two years. You know, when I come out on the other side of these mints, you know, we'll, we'll see. Who knows? Who knows? So it's up in the air. Going over to this... We're starting to see some capitulation. These were these are the east side Zens and Cherions. They were about 0.48, but in the last day or two, we've had this drop to 0.43. So let's see what that is. 0.43, Ethereum sitting at 1549. 1549 times 0.43. So 660 satanic dollars. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, maybe we shouldn't buy today. Yeah, let's see. Oh, and if you're liking this, this is my new bookmark ninja. I'm going to be talking about this. It's $1.99 a month, but they give you a free trial. So I had thousands of bookmarks and I started organizing them with this and it's it's actually pretty dope. It's pretty dope. So yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right, let's see what the hypothetical mint is. I said that we would probably want to do a 14. So 14 is at 0.36. So that's a pretty pretty big spread between 0.43. So I'll probably throw a 14 out there onto the network today just to see how it does. But like I said, we're getting a little capitulation, but we haven't hit it like we have with the, the BSC side. So I'll continue to monitor that. But yeah, I'll probably put a mint, a mint out tonight because let's see... 1540 times 0.36, 557. It's not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Moving right along. Doritos. Click on my link, link down below, if you want to get in the Dorito Super Bowl challenge. They're giving a bunch of stuff away. You got to be in it to win it, baby. The Doritos triangle scheme so i'll leave a link and if you don't follow me follow me on bitcoin slow on twitter i'll leave a link down below for that now on to btc ordinals we got on ordinals keep in mind there are fake on ordinal twitter accounts so this is the og and i follow this out of the discord so on ordinals you minted these puppies on eth and then you burn and you get your BTC side on the website. So now I've told people, I posted this the other day at 0.16. And now the floor is, let's see, what's the floor? The floor is 0.61. So if you bought my call, you're up 3x. Now here's the question. Do you sell your east side on ordinal before you burn it or do you hodl for the moon? So I've got three of these and I'm basically 3x. So I thought of selling two and keeping one just in case. But, you know, the problem with on the BTC side is it's all OTC trades. So whoever gets the BTC ordinal marketplace up first is going to kill it 
because these are so hot and there's a lot of risk of trading these OTC in the discords. Plus, there's fake ones on the bridged side on OpenSea with, uh, I forget what it's called. Um, let's see if I go back to... Now, also something, projects with Ordinal in the name have been shadow banned by OpenSea, which I'm just like, oh my gosh. So you can see we're one of the top projects. It's weird. They must have removed the shadow ban because now we're back to trending. So again, these are hard to get your paws on, but there's a lot of projects out there, you know. There's, a, there's one person I follow on, it's called Free Mints, I think. Let's see, follow Free Mint Sniper. Now, keep in mind, if you follow something like this, this is, this is a, like a Twitter account that has a bunch of Free Mints. There could be rugs, there could be wallet drainers. So always use a burner wallet if you interact with any of these Free Mints. That's what's always kind of, I, you know, I'm just like, I don't know if I want to do a free mint just because of the danger. Uh, but I'll leave this, a link down to this free mint sniper. There's some ordinal stuff that pops up on here too. And another trick you can do is you can just type ordinal and see what comes up. And, and you see Leon, Leon the, the OG, he's shilling because he's got a bunch of everything. But there's a bunch of fake punks. There's a bunch of fake and scams. So just be patient. You're going to see notable collections that launch on the east side that will burn over to the BTC side. And if you don't understand that, that just means they launch the collection on OpenSea and then you later trade for the BTC NFT. That's all it is. And then there's also Ordinal's directory, Ordinal Hub, which these are kind of dope. These basically just list all the projects and got featured and sub 10K. So this is another narrative that's being pushed that the, the inscriptions below 10K are worth more, which is quite possible, but there's also a lot of junk. And a lot of these that are under 10K expect to pay absolutely absurd prices, okay? Absolutely absurd prices. That's, oh, Ordinal Cubes minting now. Oh. So, oh, 0 0.015 BTC. Oh God. So let's let's just let's just let's just think of see what that is. 105 times 20, 20 21.5 or something like that. It's 322 dollars. You know, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. And most of these things have no roadmap, no nothing. So just be careful. You know, just be careful because you can get schemed and scammed. So as far as what I'm going to do with my on ordinals, you know, I think it would be dumb for me to sell all of my on ordinals, but I thought of selling two and keeping one for the moon bag and keep my rain, you know, my rarest, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. We'll see. Like I said, these are just difficult, but I'm just afraid that on the other side, getting liquidity, you're probably going to have some drawdowns in prices until we get a marketplace. But like I said, we'll see. Oh, and on that note, this damn thing is still running. <laughs> My BTC full node. Three years to go. This has been running for like four or five days. So, oh my gosh. But I guess Ordinal's wallet is coming out. It's going to have a wallet specifically designed to hold these things. So we'll see. I don't know how the security of it and especially how expensive these are. I feel most comfy having it in my BTC node. But as I told you, you can use Sparrow as well, but you just you can't, you can't send them. You have to export your private key and then move it into your full node. So... Whoo, that was a lot to talk about today, but those are the projects and market updates. Like, subscribe, and as always, this is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.